Hi there, welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm Angela and today I have a little fabric mini haul to share with you guys, just two pieces. And we'll get into that here in just a minute. A couple of pieces of housekeeping to share with you guys. First off, thank you so much for stopping by. And a couple more things to let you know, then we're gonna look at these pieces of fabric. Uh, so unfortunately, I have no new sewing to report to you guys, just simply because I haven't been doing much I, other than a couple of pieces of mending here and there. This is, and you'll hear me say it, and if I looked back through my channel history, you probably, like I would probably hear this for every April and years past, April and May are just swamped here on our little mini farm. So I'm busy with that. And then also a couple of other big projects around the homestead have taken up my time. Uh, so I'm still itching to get back into my sewing room and it will happen. I will soon have some new sewing to share with you guys. Uh, as If you stick around till the end of the video, I'll kind of give you a little peek at some of the projects that we're working on here on the homestead if you're interested in those. Uh, but last piece of housekeeping and then we'll look at these fabrics. Are you participating in Me Made May this year? This is the first year that I have participated and I'm really excited. I'm recording this on May 3rd and out of the three days in May so far, I've actually missed a day so far. I did not do uh, a, an Instagram picture of me and a Me Made yesterday just because I was outside working all day and I was just tanked by the time the day was over just covered in dirt and sweat and mud and little twigs and branches <laughs> it was a sight anyway I, I just had to chalk it up to me made may is not going to happen for me today yesterday but um, I did post one today and this is taking place over on Instagram my Instagram handle is the same as my channel mate channel name just me and my fabric um, but there's a link uh, below so or somewhere on the page there should be a link to my Instagram page if you're interested in following along there and I would love to follow you back so let me know that you're over from the channel and I would love to follow you on Instagram so enough about that let's get into these fabrics so I did mention I purchased two fabrics and these are it. They're so pretty. I'm going to show you them in detail, show them to you in detail here in just a second. But the reason why I kind of did this, even though I'm still trying to be very uh, mindful with my fabric purchases, is that back in April, kind of around the time of Earth Day, so mid to late April, uh, Whitney over at Tomcat Stitchery did um, an episode on dead stock fabrics. And in case you are unfamiliar with the term dead stock fabrics, what that means is that from designer houses and fabric mills, and I might just be playing a little fast and loose with this definition here, but they essentially are pieces of fabric that the designers or the fashion houses no longer need or they're the remnants and leftovers and they end up going like these off pieces uh, can be kind of I guess sent to fabric stores online fabric stores usually I guess for resale to the public so otherwise from what I understand oftentimes these dead stock remnants would maybe end up in a landfill so um, and oftentimes they're very nice quality because of the reason um, you know that their original purpose was intended to be uh, used by these designers and fashion houses so you can get some good deals what I found is though is that sometimes the dead stock remnants are just as pricey as like uh, the regular fabric. So I'm not sure how much uh, savings there is or how much good it's doing for the earth, but hopefully, hopefully it's doing some good. Uh, you know, if I'm going to be buying fabrics, this might be the way to go. So Whitney had a whole episode on it and some discount codes for a few of the online fabric stores. So I narrowed it down to just two pieces. And the first one is a linen this one I could not resist. 
Um, it's so pretty. These are all pretty much in my color palette. It was pretty, pretty well, I would say. And I got two and a half yards and that's enough to make a summer dress or, you know, some other thing. I didn't have anything in mind when purchasing these. I just couldn't resist. So I got enough uh, to make something out of. And then the other one is a rayon. It feels like a chalet, just that kind of um, weave and, you know, feel to it and drape. This one is gorgeous. These are probably a little too bright for me to wear, but I just didn't care. <laughs> I gotta have this. So I think I got three yards of this, so enough to make a dress with. So I love these pieces. They feel like good quality. And I don't think I actually mentioned the place where I got these. I'm sorry about that. I got these from Sewing Studio, and I'm pretty sure it's just sewingstudio.com. I'll put a link to their site below. And if these fabrics are still available, I'll put direct links to these as well in case you're interested. So that is my little mini fabric haul. And for a minute there, when these got here, I kind of I started to freak out just a little bit because my fabric stash is building back up, especially during this season, this month or two, when I'm not doing much sewing. So I'm kind of toying with the idea of going back on a fabric band for the rest of the year. I did that for the first half of last year and it worked pretty well and it gave me a chance to sew up a bunch of things. So I'm kind of thinking about that um, and it wouldn't be like a totally strict band, but just enough to where I um, get off of the mailing list for these fabric suppliers um, that I'm not tempted and it would give me at least a chance to make up some things. So um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on if I decide to do that or not. Um, just something I'm thinking about. And that's about all I have to share with you today related to sewing. If you're interested in sticking around for a couple more minutes, I'll show you what we've been working on here in the house. So over a period of the last couple of years, we have slowly been renovating our kitchen, just modernizing it a little bit. Um, when we bought this place in 2012, it had been a little bit neglected. It wasn't falling down or in like disarray or anything, but uh, it needed some pretty serious overhauls. Just some things um, definitely needed some updates. And then some of the surfaces were just had seen better days. So we've slowly been renovating the whole house. And for the past year or two, it's been focused on the kitchen. So we, um, this over the past week, we bought a butcher block, which is maybe a two inch thick slab of oak and we finished it and oiled it down with um they make butcher blocks food safe oil that you're supposed to put on the wood to help protect it so we did all that got it pre sanded it oiled it got it prepped cut it down to the right size and we finally got it um onto our kitchen island so the island was already in place in the house but it just had an old uh, like formica laminate top on it, countertop. And that thing had definitely seen better days. The edges were starting to like peel off. And uh, we had our main countertop replaced oh, in last year, in last summer. We did not have the countertop on the island replaced because we knew we wanted a butcher block there. So, and we could do that ourselves, it's simple enough. So we finally got our butcher block installed and we just installed it today. And I'll, I'll put a picture up here so you guys can see. And since we knew we would be replacing it and we had room to have a slightly larger top, we did make the butcher block, I would say significantly larger than the old countertop was on the island. So it gives us a lot more workspace and we're so happy about it the way it came out. We're looking so forward to just being able to do food prep and baking and everything right on the butcher block. So I'll let you guys know how it goes with that if you're interested. And so that pretty much finishes our kitchen other than replacing our dishwasher, which we're pretty sure has been here since the house was built in 97. So what does that make it 27 years old? 
and we have nursed it along. We've made repairs to it, put replacement parts on it. So I mean, we have totally wrung the life out of this dishwasher. And to finish out the whole kitchen redo, we're going to get a new dishwasher. Hopefully sometime this month, we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. Other than that, we have spent the past week, when I say we, I'm referring to my husband and myself, just in case you just in case you were wondering, uh, we took most of this week off from work to uh, do a lot of property cleanup. So we're on a little bit of acreage here and we have um, some wooded parts and then we have a big pond and then I do a big vegetable garden. But a lot of it's kind of wooded or you know, with some pathways and things. And over the past few years, we've had a number of trees come down just um, due to uh, weather events and things like that. So there has been a bunch of scraggly brush and wood that needed cut up and dealt with. So we spent some decent amount of time just doing property cleanup this week. And Ooh, that was like hard physical labor and it felt good to get it done. But it's one of those days when you know you're going to sleep well that night because your body's just so sore from all the physical labor. So I'm pretty happy with everything that we got done and then topping it off today, Friday, with getting the butcher block done. And you might find this interesting and maybe, you know, if you're into DIY or projects and things, um, this could be like a helpful hint for you. So for the past number of years, um, he and I have done what we call home improvement week. And we usually do it in the spring. So we'll each take a week off from work and we'll have earmarked some projects or even just major spring cleanup to do that whole week. And we, we just spend each day working that week and uh, we call it home improvement week. <laughs> so we find that it works really well to get things done, especially if you have maybe some bigger projects that are kind of languishing or lingering need to finish up. You can do those on home improvement week, or you could do a brand new project. It kind of runs the gamut for us. So this year, like I mentioned, it was mainly property cleanup and outdoor type work. Um, but, and then the butcher block, but in years past, it's been like um, doing, you know, remodeling, projects inside the house too. So we find it works really well to have that concentrated time set aside. And one other picture I want to show you just in case you're interested. If you're not, feel free to skip past. I am currently trying to get my vegetable garden cleaned up for this year. The weeds have kind of taken over, so I'm working on remulching. Um, I do have some other beds, but this is the main area where the vegetables are. So I hope you found this interesting or helpful. Let me know if you've done any good fabric purchases lately. I would love to know. Also, let me know if you're doing Me Made May. I would love to follow along with your um, Me Made May post on Instagram for this month. Let me know. Uh, let me know what your user handle is over there and I'll follow you back. And I hope that you'll tune back in this coming Monday when I'll have another Monday matchup for you. And other than that, I guess that's about it. I hope that you have a great weekend. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.